So today is Sunday, July 5th, and um, it's about 2 p.m. I'm here at Myrtle Edwards Park in Seattle, and um, I'm just here early. I gotta work on my back. I gotta work on my backpack. Get the hashtag written on there and whatnot. And uh, at four o'clock, I have at least one person I know for sure is gonna show to come walk that mile with me that I challenged them. So uh, yeah, yeah, this should be pretty cool, pretty cool. I originally had about 10 people who were gonna come, but I had to change the date. So eh, I'm quite curious to see just how many of them people are gonna show. Cool thing is though, at least I know for sure one will. So um, yeah, gonna do this mile walk and then I'm not really sure where I'm going after this. Uh, I have a few different options, I guess, or possibilities up in the air, waiting to see exactly where the adventure leads me. So, all right guys, much love, much peace, stay tuned. And uh, yeah, if you're in Seattle, come on down here. It's 2 p.m. and uh, it'll be time for uh, us to smoke at 420. Cause I got the bowl and I'm gonna pack it. It'll be your hit. So uh, come on out here, come smoke with me. All right, much love, much peace you all. All right guys, so it's Sunday, July 5th and I'm here at Myrtle Edwards Park. It's 4 p.m. And I have challenged some of you guys out there to come walk a mile with me. Actually, Aubria took me up on my challenge yeah, to come walk a mile a with mile me. With us. And uh, so we're getting ready to uh, take this mile long walk. And I invite you guys to come walk with me as well. I'm planning on uh, stopping in various cities across the state and then hopefully take it nationwide. Um, yeah, come on out here, come walk a mile with me. I'll show you some of the magic I see. All right, and uh, yeah, we're gonna head on in, and while we're walking or whatever, I'll have a little. We'll have a chat with Aubria and maybe a few questions, like as to why she's coming out, walking with me, what what made her decide to come and join me on this challenge, I need to walk. and uh, I need to lose weight. All right, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll come walk with us, come smoke with me. Come walk with us. we'll walk a, a half a mile in okay. and then this way we walk a half a mile back out and we've done a mile cool. otherwise it'd be doing two miles yeah, yeah, yeah. that works for me honestly i like to, i think it's the point where i don't need this chain you know That's yeah like. yeah but you know it is what it is Condition in my back, where the cartilage is wearing away. Man, it's not coming back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, how are you doing? I'm a little tired right now. I just parked up at the north end and walked down. Oh, oh shit. Damn. No, it's okay. It's beautiful. This is my home, man. This is. I know. I'm walking by backstage areas and stuff. I know. Yeah. And you know where where we sprinkled the ashes from Meryl and Rick and Kevin up on top of the hill. Right on. And right on. Yeah. So this is a beautiful place, and since we're not having a festival here this year, I really liked having a, an excuse to come down. Right on. <laughs> so. Thank you for that. For sure. Yeah, for sure. For me, it's coming down here is just letting go of some, some of the negativity. One of the things I let go is I think I'm on day 16 or 17, might even be day 21 for all I know, of no nicotine. Nicotine. That's a good one to let go. Oh yeah. Not easy. No, no. Definitely. I'm I'm told it's actually harder than like some of the harder drugs out there. That's what I hear.
Not saying. yet. Okay. Operations and uh, coordinates. It's uh, basically up around. Once we get around this corner, we'll be at the we'll be at the half mile mark, and then then the half mile walking back or whatever will okay. okay. get you your mile. Take the, uh, the overpass okay. Okay. I take the bus home. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is awesome though. I'm glad I came. Right on. Yeah, so am I. I'm glad you came too. Yeah, Thank me you. Too, yeah. What was your name? Oh, this is Aubrey. Hi, Aubrey. Hi. I'm Steve Funk. Yeah, you're coming up. Yes. Yeah, that's cool though. I'm glad you came along. Yeah, me too. Can we go sit over here for a moment? What made you decide to take me up on my challenge of walking? Well, honestly, a mile is not very far. So I think I can do a mile, you know? Right. Right on, let's do a mile. Cause yeah, I don't want to do 30 miles at a time or nothing be crazy, you know? Right, right. So a mile seems doable and it's a challenge and I'm up for it. Uh, yes, I have my cane, but you know, the cane just mostly for support. It's not like, yeah. you know, it's not like I, I need it really necessarily to walk, but I ha I'm thankful to have it because let me, let's be honest here, I'm 44. I don't want to fall and break my hip. Right, right, exactly. So it's mostly for just my stability. Oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yes, that's why I told people is bring your cane, bring your walker, bring your yeah. wheelchair, come out and walk with me. Um, I'm, I'm walking through the pain myself. Is mm -hmm. there any pains that you're, at, well, you're walking yeah, through I at got the some, moment? Yeah, I got a bad lower back. Yeah, I have some back pain, you know. Yeah. I screwed up my right, right ankle a while ago. And, but still, you came out. Still, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day. You can't help but... Here, like, look at this, look guys. At that. Look at that. Just beautiful. Like, we're out in the waterfront. You know, you can't ask for a nicer, nicer weather. All right. Well, I want to say thank you so much for coming out and enjoying me. Yeah. And um, yeah. I'll give you virtual hugs. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, because trying to keep the, try to keep the distance. Yeah. So as you guys saw, it was pretty cool. I had two people come out and take on my mile walk challenge. Um, Aubrey and Steve, thank you guys. For... Unfortunately, my battery power was running low and the power banks were buried in my backpack. And then it was a matter of Steve offered me a ride to a bus stop so I can make my way up here where I'm at right now. I am just east of Arlington. And look at this amazing view behind me, guys. Yeah, so I had to race to the bus stop to uh, make sure I was able to hit the bus in time to get here uh, a few days ago. Yeah, so I'm going to flip this around and show you guys where I've been at last few days. It's so beautiful out here. we got a garden going on, greenhouse, got all kinds of vegetables. Look at this awesome view. This is just so beautiful. So nice, quiet, peaceful. And we got some chickens over here. Oh, fresh eggs. Let me tell you guys, super tasty. Even got a fire pit. Basketball hoops. Oh, and look, bunnies. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. There's tons of bunnies out here. They're like everywhere. And I've got tons of tomatoes and uh, kale, carrots, onions, cabbage. Yeah, this is pretty sweet, guys. And then, uh, yeah, I was gonna stick around this side of Washington. I had a few things kind of planned, but, but then some things kind of fell through. So uh, the adventure actually is leading me out to Spokane. So I'm gonna be in Spokane in, uh, what is today? Today's Thursday, so Friday night I'll be in Spokane. I think I'm gonna be there about two to four weeks. I know I want to walk from Spokane to Coeur d'Alene and back. 
and uh, yeah, take that trail and just see what it's all about. And then I'll be challenging you guys out there to come walk with me. Uh, as soon as I know exact dates and start times and like where starting point at and everything else, I'll be posting that on my Facebook. So make sure to stay tuned to that. Uh, if you're in the Spokane area, want to come out and walk a mile with me, um, make sure you bring your mask, bring your own bowl. And uh, if you don't have a bowl, I have one. Just make sure you bring some alcohol to uh, wipe it off and I'll even pack the bowl for you. Uh, all right. I always find myself in amazing places with amazing people. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty freaking lucky, let me tell you. I've been here with Tara and Luke, um, these awesome two angels of mine. Literally, they invited me into their home, allowed me to stay as long as I needed to, as long as the adventures that I had to be, because, um, yeah, my plans never kind of go as I expect them to. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, You're very welcome. I really, I had no idea exactly where I was going to be at that night when I got here, and uh, I actually thought I was going to be leaving out of here sooner than I have been, but... Uh, Thank you so much for your hospitality. You're um, welcome. You're welcome. Anytime. Yeah. Your family. Thank you. Yes. And uh, as always, keep watching, guys. I'll keep showing you this magic. It's everywhere that I go. And this love that's out here, it's not out here just for me. It's out here for you guys, too. You just have to be open to it. Open up your eyes and see. It's all around. Um, yeah. And keep following. Come join me on my, on my walks. Come walk with me a mile. And you'll get to see a little bit of the magic that I do every single day. Well... I'm uh, actually getting ready to race back to Tacoma. I have to go pick up um I have to go pick up a couple packages and then I'll be heading up to Spokane tomorrow. So stay tuned guys. Keep watching, keep following, I'll keep showing you the magic. And uh yeah, keep stay tuned on my Facebook page to find out where I'm gonna do uh where I'm gonna have the next uh, come walk with me Seth event. Uh if you're wanting to come out and join me. All right, much love, much peace, you all. Mm -hmm.